I got asked to do the Ballon d'Or last year, I thought it would be a once in a lifetime thing. But I think now knowing just how huge the event is and knowing I'm going to be part of it for a second time is, is a real privilege, yeah. Welcome to everybody to the Congress House in Zurich for the FIFA Ballon d'Or 2014. I really am thrilled to be here with you. It's just an incredible moment because you say normally I would be kind of on the other side of things where you're watching and reporting on what's going on, but to actually feel like um, you're at the center of that moment, that moment that is so uh, talked about, you know, internationally, globally, it's a huge talking point. Everybody wants to know who's going to be crowned the World Footballer of the Year. And for you to be center stage and involved in that moment in some way feels uh, feels really exciting. You know who's going to be in the crowd, you've seen the red carpet, you've seen all these faces that are legends of the game that you've always admired being a sports reporter, they're people that you have followed their entire career and then you know all of a sudden they're going to be sitting in the audience and listening to you and you want to do it well, you want to impress people, you want to do a good job for FIFA. Um, and so I think there's definitely a moment where it's slightly nerve-wracking but it's a, it's a good nervous energy.